Good day and welcome to another episode of Drumroll, please. Gustav? Gustav? Drumroll, please. Hey, give me a second. Dude, what are you doing? You're embarrassing me in front of the people. Catch a wake up, man. Idiot. The T Files, episode two. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, so in this episode, I'm going to talk to you guys about wood uh, on the different guitars and stuff and what difference they make, uh, what type of wood you get, and how do they make the difference in the sound. Okay, so firstly, you get quite a few different types of wood. Uh, you get mahogany, spruce, cedar, maple, rosewood, walnut, just to name a few. There's koa as well. Um, there's quite a few options, however, I'm going to kind of break it down for you guys and expose the truth. Uh, firstly, starting off with pretty much the tops of the guitar, which is this piece you see here. Um, that's what we call the resonant part of the guitar. Now, the two common ones they use is spruce and cedar. Spruce is going to be a very white yellowy color, so you can differentiate between the two. Uh, cedar will be pretty much like a caramelized light brown color uh, Depending on what stain they use in the lacquer and all that stuff It's going to be a bit difficult to distinguish But as long as you know when you're talking about natural color That's going to probably be your best guess to distinguish between the two Cedar and spruce is the most common they use on the tops of the guitars uh, Just basically because of the resonance they give off um, Cedar is a bit warmer due to the grain that they use. Now when I talk about grain, that's the circles in the tree trunk that you see. That's the thick pieces of wood. Um, that is what resonates the best. Uh, so on cedar, it's gonna be a darker color. So therefore it's gonna, it's very difficult to explain, but it's gonna be a warmer res resonance on the guitar where spruce is gonna be brighter, a bit more of an attack, if you will. Uh, that's the tops of the guitars. The back and the sides are gonna be as you see here that's the back and that's sorry that's the sides and the back I'm a bit confused this morning it is spring day after all so um, so yeah we're talking about the back and the sides now that's gonna be made from quite a few different options as well of wood uh, the most common is mahogany you can get rosewood maple walnut koa as I explained earlier but I'm going to give you a brief description of why they make different sounds and well, yeah, different kind of sounds they will produce. Um, I'm going to give you a bit of a, a graphic, if you will. I brought two of my best friends along. We've got SpongeBob and Shelly. Uh, I think this is going to be the best way to explain to you guys. If you take mahogany, for instance, I'm going to talk about porous woods now. Um, porous meaning open gaps in the wood grain and stuff like that. So to briefly explain this, sponge rob is going to be the mahogany and shelly is going to be, let's say, rosewood or maple. So for instance, if I knock on sponge rob's head, he's probably going to feel that, but we don't care. Um, he's going to absorb a lot more of that knock, if you will, than shelly wood. Shelly will transfer that knock right through the shell, <laughs> where sponge rob will absorb a lot more of the, the blow. So he would ab absorb more of the sound waves if we're envisioning him as a guitar, for instance. Where Shelly would say, go away, I don't want you, and would propel the sound waves. So if that makes a little bit more sense to you, um, Mahogany is very porous, it will absorb the sound waves produced from the top of the guitar, the resonant part, and project it back out the sound hole. Um, that's what's going to create a warmer sound. However, if you're using shelly as a back and sides, rosewood, maple, the harder wood that's not as porous, that's going to give you much more of a brighter, projective attack. So, in so saying, if your guitar is going to be back and sides mahogany, you're going to get a very warm, 
how would you say, subtle sound coming out of the sound, or not a very bright and attacky sound that you would get from a, ma a maple or a rosewood back in science. Um, I do apologize for my, <laughs> my nerves, but uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I don't know if any of you noticed, I didn't say pretty much in this video, because the first video was pretty bad, with me saying that almost every second second anyway um yeah in a cruel world that's the gist of it i hope i've shed some form of light on the matter um yeah if there's any questions you guys want to know about what i've explained you're most welcome to and yeah from gustav and myself signing off episode two cheers see you again